Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love, and today we're gonna be making a super simple and basic guac. So a guacamole. Um, I'm gonna show you a very basic version of it, and then you can add other things to it, like tomato, cilantro, other things like that. But I'm actually gonna use this guac for a recipe, so I just want to, um, I just wanted to show you guys how simple it is um, to make a very basic guac. So let's get started. We are going to get your avocado. You're just gonna cut it down the middle like so. Then, so you're just gonna get a spoon, go all the way around like so, put that down, get the next one. Um, depending on how much you're making, then that's what you're going to, um, that's how much lime and onion and anything else you're going to use is based on, okay? So, um, you could just use two avocados. That was the intention was to use two. And actually that's what we'll end up doing. So that way you guys know it's two avocados. Okay, so now what you do is you just grab a fork and you start mashing. Very, very simple. You just wanna make sure it's nicely mashed. There's no clumps. Okay, let's see how quick this is. And once we have this all mashed, we're gonna add the other ingredients. And like I said, if you wanna add tomato, if you wanna add cilantro, if you wanna add any other things into your wok, then you do it. Some people even add salsa, but this here is just a very, very simple, plain, plain Jane guacamole, okay? And you are gonna see what I'm gonna be using this recipe for in another video. You guys are gonna get super excited. It's for a seven layer dip. So, um, you know, we're not gonna add the cilantro in here, we're gonna add it um, separately. So, once you have that in there, then you get your onion. And again, you're just gonna add, I just added a little chunk. If you love onion and you're so obsessed with it, then just add a little more. This is really to taste. And if you don't like onion, then you just omit it. So very simple. There is the onion. And now this is just personal preference. I'm, I'm adding a little bit of jalapenos and I wanted to get it a little finely diced. Okay, just so that we don't get big chunks of, you know, we don't want big chunks of jalapeno. I mean, if you do, then, you know, you add it, but. I'm just gonna add, I would say like a tablespoon of jalapeno right in there. And now we're going to add a lime. So this lime is very juicy. We're gonna add the lime of half, half of the juice of half of a lime. We will taste it. And if we need more, then we'll add a little more. Um, if you have onion salt, I'm gonna add a little garlic powder, a little salt, a little more lime. Remember, we're just using, this is now officially half of a lime, okay? Half a lime juice. And, let's see. Mmm, that's good, perfection. Guys, take a look at this creaminess. And again, just add some tomato, cilantro, and you have yourself kind of like a guac with pico. If you want it just as so and add some cilantro, then that's what you do. This is your guac, you're gonna eat it. So like I said, I'm gonna be using this for another recipe, but I wanted to show you just in case you're making some tacos, you're making some tostadas, you want a really quick, quick guacamole, boom, this is it. You're gonna love it and um, taste test. Perfect, this is delicious. So, you can also serve this with a salsa. I will link one of my most popular salsas down below. Serve your guac, your salsa, some chips. I'll link everything in the description so you guys can make the whole combo. Uh, gathering, football, movie night, boom. This is it. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this super, super quick, simple recipe. It's delicious and you guys are gonna love it. Guys, until next time, I love you and I will see you on my next video. Mwah.